Hey y'all, this is Block Ops giving you an update on what we're doing these days. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that we moved out of a rental building and put all the stuff in the container with the intention of building it into other containers. So I've been standing in one of those containers. We're hoping to get everything up and running by the middle of March here in 2021 uh, because we have a whole bunch of miners that we can't plug in right now. So behind me is one of the 1200 amp panels. And then we've got, we set up uh, the three of the 400 amp panels. And we're using the older, uh, inefficient design of the 208 three phase. It's not electrically inefficient, it just costs more to design it this way. The upside of it is power companies uh, easily provide those uh, 208 uh, transformers. And um, so you don't have to buy custom transformers. So it's a, it's a trade off and it gets you up and running. I'll show you the few other containers and I'll take you inside the building. And right now we're running a bunch of old machines. We're running Amp Miner S9s, L3s, uh, a bunch of GPU miners with NVIDIA 1070s and RX 480s and 470s. Got the most of the eight gig uh, GPUs, mining Ethereum, of course. And then uh, with the recent uptick in Raven price have uh, changed all the four gig uh, GPU cards over to Raven. And uh, we do have some new miners, uh, the Ant Miner S17s, which turned out to be a, a big disappointment just because of their high failure rate. And then we got lucky and, and uh, got some Ant Miner Z11s and Z15s uh, a while back, and those have been very nicely profitable. Uh, so it'll get noisy, and uh, if you don't like the noise, turn down the volume or uh, stop watching the video. But uh, my mining philosophy these days is to uh, work the cycle, continue to uh, add infrastructure, which is power, space, cooling, uh, network connect connectivity over time, and buy miners during the low part of the cycle when they're inexpensive, and mine them until the high part of the cycle. Uh, I'm hoping that these Antminer S9s will go for a resale price of about $500 each. Uh, hopefully the same thing with the Antminer L3s, the old Dogecoin uh, dual mining with the uh, Litecoin has been a, been a bonus there. And maybe we'll sell those S9s, maybe not. Uh, we'll see. It's nice to have that option though. And uh, if there's going to be a peak in the cycle, uh, if you all have uh, listened to my podcast or seen it in any other presentations, um, at the, at the peak, which we should mine because we'll be immensely profitable on mining and, and, and it won't last. Uh, I'm thinking that'll be around a Bitcoin price of, of two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. We'll see. Well, we, my philosophy is not to try to plan too hard, but run a very efficient, low-cost operation and let the market tell us what we should be doing. So anyway, uh, I've got another container like this. This is further, this is further along, and my uh, flow-through container, which works, but it's not a very powerful container. I think it has maybe uh, 250 kilowatts max. Each of these should be about a um, little under 400 kilowatts. They're not high-density containers. They're not one megawatt or two megawatt containers, but that's okay. We run a mix of miners in them, and uh, we have all the equipment. The container itself is not that expensive. Um, and then I'll take you inside the building so you can see how we're running all the uh, old equipment. So here's a storage container. Uh, we've got a bunch of miners sitting in there that we are not able to plug in right now. And then all the fans. We're going to put the fans on the outside of the container um, once we get it in place. And these uh, containers, we're going to... that we're building out these two containers that we're building out here we're going to cut four holes on one side and put uh, louvers and filters and then we're going to cut four holes on the other side and attach fans to them that reminds me I need to buy those louvers and we'll use uh, we'll use filtering material so I'm gonna pause the video and then uh, walk us inside Okay, here we are on the inside. You can see we have a similar design for one of the 1200 amp panels. Um, and hey, everything works. We have a uh, big space in here. Let's see, I'll take you into the fan area. And I'm probably not going to talk just because it's loud. 